Hi, my name is Kevin Lindemuth, and on behalf of Expert Village, I will be talking about filmmaking. Um, with filmmaking, you need first three basic things. You need to um, have a camera, uh, you need to have lights, and you need to have audio. Um, with the camera, nowadays, I would say you would need a digital camera. Um, you know, if you want to make something for like a festival, a short, something for YouTube, or even an independent film, you want, you know, the quality to be as good as, as possible and as up to date. So no using old SVHS cameras or Hi8 or anything like that. Just make sure um, you use digital, whether it be, you know, mini DV or, or even a disc. Uh, it'll just hold up, you know, the next, you know, decade or so at least, you know. Um, and as far as cameras, you could buy the, you know, consumer one. Uh, you could get them as cheap as, you know, $400. You could go up to HD where you're spending $4,000. Um, it just depends on what you want to be doing. If you're going to be making, you know, a short film just for yourself, just to show your friends, uh, it's a little bit different than if you're making something specifically for a, you know, film festival, or if you want to make a feature or a documentary, you know, it's going to be seen by a wide, you know, group of people. So you have to know, um, you know, kind of what, you're going to be doing. Um, in terms of lights, uh, you just, you know, make sure if you're doing an interview uh, that your subject is well lit. Um, you know, there's different styles of lighting, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of a given that you have to be able to see clearly, um, you know, what you're taping. Um, another thing with the lights that's really important is when you're interviewing somebody or have somebody on the camera that you actually see light reflected in their eyes. Uh, it just makes them a lot more engaging. And, uh, you know, it's an important thing. To, it just makes it more washable for, for whatever reason. And audio, um, you know, camera mics are good in some cases if you're close to the person. Otherwise, you know, external microphones like, you know, like a wireless like microphone like what I have on now uh, or, a, you know, a boom mic or whatever. Um, audio has to be clear. And in fact, audio is probably one of the most important things. It, it sounds kind of weird. But people would more likely watch something that doesn't look so good, that has really good audio, you know, as long as they can hear it, they're fine, rather than you have something that looks really, really good, and the audio is all crackly, and you can't hear anything. That seems to irritate people more, and that uh, is more, you know, unacceptable. That, that is probably, you know, the, the biggest mistake, you know, of doing any production is having bad sound. You just do not want to have bad sound. Um, so the three things, you know, camera, lights, and audio.